Okay, so, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for your tutorial. Um, really great, uh, I mean, not much more I can say, uh, really helped me learn the program, um, really helped me, uh, understand how to do things, and I just want to show you guys what I was able to make with this software. Um, so I have a little character, and I uh, replaced the worm, put in some models for decoration, and uh, yes, I do have a respawn point. So just respawned, and uh, yes, you did see me jump. Uh, I was able to take some different uh, codes. Uh, the move code is yours, because the move code that uh, the third person t tutorial suggested I didn't like, but I did like yours, so I decided to use that one and then modify it uh, a good deal amount just to get him to jump. So now he does, and uh, not on this version, but on an earlier build, I mean a later build, uh, when he walks through bushes, he actually goes slower because it's taking him longer to go through because he has to walk through something. Uh, not on this one, but it is there. Uh, so we have trees. Uh, we have a tree. You can climb up the tree. Uh, I actually have difficulty with this. Duh. I can't even do it and I made it. I feel so mad at myself. Uh, everything was m modeled in Maya. Uh, everything could have been modeled in other things as well. Uh, all textures and materials were added once the models were imported in. So all models are uh, gray. Uh, the code that I used for the move I had to fabricate myself, and if anyone would like it, uh, I'll be happy to give it to them. I'm not going to treat it as mine since it's uh, more than half Tornado Twins, and uh, obviously I didn't invent the code myself, I just uh, kind of put pieces of other people's code together, but uh, I like the way it, was, it came out. Um, in reality, I looked at the first person uh, jump code and modified it to work in third person point of view and I added it to this code. So some of it, some people might not understand. Uh, there's one line, grounded, it's, you actually define a variable. It basically, sa uh, it looks complicated to those who have not seen it before, but basically what it says is if a solid object is not underneath it, in other words, you're grounded when there is not not uh, a solid ob object underneath. Unity 3D can tell if there's nothing underneath you, but it can't tell if there's something underneath you. So what you have to do is ask it if there's not not something underneath you. So it's a little weird, but it works and uh, it's fine. So basically, uh, if there's an object underneath you, then you can jump up and down and uh, you can walk. Actually, I modified that code before the code said you could only move forward, back, left, and right as uh, you were on the ground, but I realized that wouldn't really make jumping a big deal because then you couldn't go forward while you jump, and that's a major part of a lot of third-person games. And if you can't jump while you're moving, uh, uh, rather, you can't move while you jump, it would take a major part of the gameplay out and uh, you really couldn't do it. So uh, I have no animations as of this point right now. Um, I have animations, which is not in the game, unfortunately. Uh, also, well, I'm about to do it, I'm all psyched. There we go. Even climb on top of the tree, yeah. So now I feel fulfilled. Um, animations, uh, one, I don't know how to call an animation for when you're walking. I do know how to call one when you're jumping, and I actually have a jump animation, but it's not working quite yet. Uh, unfortunately, it messes with the model. It actually turns all my smoothed faces into their ri original primitives, which really is tiring, because if you look, a lot of them are custom shaped. I can on honestly do a lot better. I made this person model a long time ago, but I've since become better at modeling, but Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to the Tornado Twins for the tutorials. Really helped me a lot. I'm sure they helped a lot more people out than just me. And I just wanted to show you what you can actually do with this software uh, from the tutorials and a little bit of scripting, a little bit of work. And you can get something that actually looks pretty cool. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please rate and please comment.